What do you get when you mix nostalgia with fast beauty? A collection between she glam and care bears. I gotta say though, it is all very like on point. It makes an awful lot of sense. It is actually available right now for purchase. There's a lot of things in this. So let's get chatting about it. If you're a major Care Bears fan, you'll probably want the collection set and that is retailing for $54.99 and it has the whole lot of it in it, including that really cute little box at the back. And they've managed to squash all of the products together just here for a picture. And it is quite a lot for that money. It even includes that rather odd mirror. The reason why I say it's odd is I'm just looking at the texture and I can actually feel my skin fold in on itself I can't deal with that for sort of fabric like that was the most difficult part of the 90s for me I just can't can't deal with that sort of texture but you're getting an eyeshadow palette you get three blushes you get your share a smile lip set you get some eyeliners you get this sort of velour puffy thing and a gift mirror but obviously you can buy each of these individually if you are interested. So there's the Care Bears Share Your Care palette for $9.99 and it has, of course, little bears as icons. It again has that furry sort of a detail on it, which again, if you grew up in the 90s, you probably had diaries like this. And I'm just, I get it, I get why they're doing that, but also, oh my God, when eyeshadow gets on it, uh, I just can't. But they did say down in the description, plus this palette is also 100% huggable, literally. I mean, fair enough, but I don't really want to hug a palette. I mean, I'm sad, but I'm not so sad that I'm like starting to hug my inanimate objects. The shades themselves, they're very, very wearable. It's very, again, springtime. I don't hate it though, it's kind of cute. And I feel like this is something that people who love Care Bears will get a lot of use out of. I'm wondering though how true to life those swatches are. Just, I, I mean, I have a lot of trust issues at this point, lads. And they also have three different blushes and they come in the shades Fabulous, Thrill Seeker and Tickled Pink, which is quite funny because Tickled Pink is not pink. Like, should they have swapped around the shades Fabulous and, and Tickled Pink? Very confusing. Again, the packaging. I mean, just insert my comments from earlier into this exact space. So this is the shade Tickled Pink, but in my mind, it's much more of like a burnt, reddy, pinky orange. It's actually genuinely quite interesting. I think this would be great for like, if you're going for that sunburnt look. And now they do claim it is a fine powder and it's highly pigmented. Again, anything I've tried from She Glam, I do genuinely quite enjoy in terms of the quality. And it does look really, really pretty on each of those skin tones. I would say it looks the best on deeper skin tones. But I do feel like they've captured some really interesting blush shades within this collection without having it be like 5 million blushes, which is smart. Fabulous is probably the one that I am the most interested in. I'm kind of loving these pink shades at the moment. And I mean, again, it's also looking fabulous across lots of skin tones here. And then rather funnily, Thrill Seeker is probably the blush I would have gone for a year ago. That's not me saying I wouldn't go for it now. I think it's absolutely stunning, but it's interesting to see how things change. It probably looks the best on the fair skin here, but all in all, very, very pretty. But I gotta say, those blushes are pretty cute and they're only $5.49 each, so they're not breaking the bank. Then there's the Care Bears Share a Smile lip set for $10.99 and it seems to come with a sort of a lip gloss and then two very similar liquid lips. And I do find it quite interesting that when they're showing it here, they're saying, oh, we have our gloss and then we have two long lasting and non-sticky mattes, but they've only shown one of the colors. That's because the two colors look almost identical. And by almost identical, I mean completely identical. It's very, very strange to me. So this is the shade Perfect Harmony. And then this is Love A Lot. There is not much of a difference here. And it becomes extra pronounced when you actually see it swatched. So maybe they only needed to go with one. But I will give them this. The gloss looks very, very cute. They then have the Sweet Wishes coloured eyeliners and they come in three shades. And I am so stressed out by the packaging on this. It's so weird. They're $3.99 each. 
do you see what I mean about the packaging? Like what is going on here? This is the purple shade and it has like, I guess like a felty furry thing on the outside. And like, who knows, they could be the most amazing things ever. But like, I'm so distracted by that terrible packaging. And also, I think they could have done a better kind of a, an eye look with that. It looks a bit, a bit patchy. Was that the best result they could have gotten from that eyeliner? Oh, I'm being very mean today. Bear with me. Like, this is much better. For sure, this is much better. So there's the white one, which is True Heart, Lucky Day, which is the green one, and then purple, which is Sweet as Sugar. Like, this is much, much better representation of them. So that's the green one. <laughs> and it looks like some sort of a weird monstrosity. And the white one. Can you imagine how filthy that would get in your handbag if you happen to pop it in there? And finally, we have the Catch Some Fun Highlighting Puff Sparkle Forever. This reminds me a little bit of when Too Faced did this years ago. It was part of a collab with somebody, but this is so weird. I don't know, like I wouldn't personally want to use like a puffy thing like that because it's just going to get like really, really dirty. I'd prefer to just maybe have like a loose highlight instead and maybe have like a velour puff as an additional one. I don't like things like this. It's just a bit gimmicky for me. Like the shade itself, it looks quite pretty, but I can't quite get over the kind of placement or the product itself that they're using to store that in. It's just weird to me. I mean, it's just a whole lot of stuff if we're 100% honest. None of it is for me. And again, that's totally fine. I did grow up with a little bit of Care Bears, but they weren't like entirely my thing. I know this is going to get an awful lot of people just based upon the nostalgia of it all. So let me know down below. Did you get this? Do you like it? Do you love it? Or are you just like, ugh, whatever? Because I am interested as always in your opinions.